What time did you get the call? Where did it come from? And what was the call? Okay, so uh, we got a call here at about 5 p.m. this afternoon at the Young Asian uh, Massage Parlor here on Highway 92, just west of Bells Ferry Road, that multiple people had been shot. Our deputies arrived on the location, located two people deceased inside and three other individuals that had been shot. Those three individuals were transported to Wellstar Kennestone Hospital. Um, one of them has since died. So now we're looking at three uh, homicides and two people are injured. Uh, we do have an image of who we believe is the suspect uh, and his vehicle. We've released that information to the media. We're asking the public if anybody recognizes him or his vehicle to please call 911. Uh, we're hearing some information about something similar going on in Atlanta, but I certainly don't have any details that I can release at this time about that. But you've been in touch with Atlanta police? Our detectives are communicating with Atlanta, yes. Were there any witnesses inside who weren't shot? There were two individuals, my understanding, that were inside the business that were not shot. Did they see what happened? It's my understanding they did. There's not a very big room, big building in there, so but I, I don't want to speak to that at this time. I mean, this, we're still, like I said, it's we're two and a half hours into it. Our investigators are still interviewing people and gathering information and, and evidence. Having said that, are you able to say whether the witnesses heard the person with, with the gun say anything or make any demands? At this, I, I bet I don't know. I mean, they just that's one of the questions that I have not been privy to, uh, so I don't know if they uh, heard his commands or what it, or what was said. Who called it? Who called it in? My understanding is one of the neighbors. I mean, this is obviously a very busy location. There's businesses on both sides of the massage parlor, so one of the neighbors called 911. We probably had several calls to 911 actually. And again, as you say, what was the nature of the 911 call? That what did they describe? That multiple people had been shot, uh, and that was the call. And do you have any indication, I know detectives are still working it, um, whether anything was stolen or anything like that that would help you figure out what the motive might yeah. have been? I'm not aware that anything was stolen, and I don't believe that that was the motive of this, but that's certainly one of the things that our investigators will be looking into. Are you able to say whether these were customers or employees or... I'm not aware. I mean, I'm not able to say because I do not know. And do you know whether um, they're men or women, all men? I haven't released the sexes um, of the victims at the time. What strikes you about this? Well, it's pretty unusual. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, the, you know, last in 2020, we had one homicide in Cherokee County. So we've had at least three today. So it's a, pretty shocking for our, not only our responding deputies and public safety, but also for the community here. And we take this very serious. We're going to do everything we can to locate the suspect and, and, uh, and arrest him. And I know you're, you're telling me it's early on in the investigation, but is there any reason for people to worry that someone is going around randomly shooting businesses or can you tell whether this was targeted? Not unless they're in a massage parlor. Because of what's going on possibly in Atlanta and has happened here, a massage parlor would not be a good place to be this evening. But other than that, we've had no other reports of shootings. Um, and so I, I'm confident that the community in, in general is safe.